Dashcams for cars have been available on the market for a while now, but in the last year Mercedes introduced their own original dashcam, which created too many questions that I want to address here. Lately, many of you have been asking the same question. Do I need to add a dash cam when I order my car? Actually, dash cams are very popular in Europe, but here in United States, meh. Not that much. Very few people have them. But let me tell you something. The video footage recording during any accident can be your only witness when you visit a lawyer. It can easily prove your innocence while saving you tons of money. So in this video I'll demo the original Mercedes dash cam in this 2022 Mercedes S500. One thing you'll probably notice right away, this car comes with the brand spanking newest and latest Mercedes NTG7 MBUX system. But don't worry, even if you have a different Mercedes MBUX system, the dash cam in your car works exactly the same. To record the video on the dashcam, you can use an external removable USB hard drive or just a simple USB stick in the car. Only use FAT32 or EXFAT formatted USB storage devices to ensure secure operation. However, the problem with FAT32 is it doesn't allow files larger than 4 GB, which is very small for video files. So my advice is only to use EXFAT formatted hard drives for your dash cam. I use this compact SSD. It looks pretty small, but it has a huge 2 terabyte capacity. So I have a whole lot of space to record. You can connect it to any USB input of your car and Dashcam will find it automatically. Whenever you decide to record your driving, you have to go to the apps on your screens menu and then select the dash cam. The screen of your car may look a little different than the screen of this S-Class, but it works exactly the same. Now you're presented with only three options. You can select the loop recording, individual recording, or you can just hit the start recording. Very simple. If you select the loop recording, your video recording will never stop, even if you have no more memory left, on your external hard drive. If the entire drive is filled, the dash cam will start to overwrite the previously recorded footage all the way from the beginning. So if you want to preserve your recording, you'd need to offload your video files to your computer. If you select the individual recording, your video recording will stop as soon as your external hard drive is filled and there is no more space left. Now, if you have some small USB stick, it may happen pretty fast. Personally, I recommend the loop recording for a few reasons. First of all, why do you need to save the video footage of your driving if nothing happened? I mean, there is no reason to clog your computer with those heavy and unnecessary files. Let those useless files be overwritten. Why keep them? But if something did happen while you drove your car, you can always hit the stop recording button and save that file from being erased. Another piece of advice is to use the external drive with decent memory size. So you can do a lot of recordings before it fills out. Once you're ready to video record your driving adventure, touch the start recording. You'll get the confirmation message, dashcam recording started. Notice the current recording time, 9, 10, 11 seconds, etc. Very simple so far. Whenever you decide to finish, touch the end recording. 
if you touch this USB icon, you'll see that it's connected to my extreme SSD drive, which already has 594.4 GB used. But it's because I use this drive to backup my other files. You can play your dashcam recording right inside your car. On the main menu, select the media option, which will give you a few options. Bluetooth or USB. Make sure the USB is selected. You can also clearly see the dashcam icon on the top corner. As you can see, I have a lot of videos on this hard drive. I actually use this hard drive to backup my other videos and there are hundreds of them on this disk. So instead of going forward looking for the last clip, I'll go backward. So it will take me straight to the last clip the one that was recorded by this dashcam. So let's click on it and BAM! You can see what I just recorded a few minutes ago. You can see people walking and the car is driving by. By the way, on this media screen you can watch any video or movie. Still, unlike the multimedia box that I demoed in my previous video, the video disappears as soon as you engage your transmission into the drive position the same happens when you put it in reverse. But as soon as you switch to the park position, you can watch any video again. If you want to learn more about the Android Multimedia Box, you can watch my other videos. The link is below in the description area. Now, let's go back to apps and back to dashcam. And let's start recording again. Here you see the dashcam recording started and the recording time is in progress. You don't have to stay on the screen while dashcam is working. You can go to any other screen. For example, I can go to the radio menu, pick the station to listen to, like for example this one. Notice the dashcam icon has a red dot, which means the recording is in progress in the background. Now I'll drive a little so we can see the quality of the recording once I get home. By the way, I fell in love with this car. Anyway, so here is my home computer. I already connected my external USB hard drive, so let's open my files. Interestingly, the Mercedes dashcam created a separate folder on my drive automatically. That folder was named dashcam, thus separating its files from all of my other folders on that hard drive. Very cool! Now, notice how dashcam created multiple video clips instead of one big video file. Instead of creating a single video, the dashcam breaks down all the recordings into smaller clips. And if you pay attention, you'll see that each clip is 2 minutes long and 268 megabytes in size. And the reason it's such a big file is because the dashcam in the S-Class records at high quality 1080p HD resolution. But most other Mercedes models record at 720p resolution, which is still HD, but at a bit lower rate and therefore smaller file size. So regarding your external hard drive, let's do a little math. How much space do you need for one hour of recording? As you can see, each video clip equals 2 minutes. Also, each clip equals 262 megabytes. So, if Dashcam produces 30 video clips, the recording time will be equal to 60 minutes. Therefore, 262 megabytes times 30 clips equal 7860 megabytes. Are you with me? Are you with me? That's how much data you'd need to store one hour of video recordings. But how much is too much? Now we established that one hour of footage equals 7.86 gigabytes. So the two terabytes external drive that I used divided by 7.86 equals 254.5 hours of space for my video files. That's whole lot of data. If we divide it by 24 hours, which equals to one day, two terabyte has enough space to record 10.6 days continuously. 
consequently if you get a one terabyte external hard drive it will cover you for 5.3 days of the actual driving and if you get a 500 gigabyte drive it will cover you for 2.65 days which is pretty good coverage so now let's click on those files and let's play it and let's pretend to have a potential traffic situation just to show you how this dash cam could save you as you can see from this video i'm crossing this intersection on the green light but the traffic light turned yellow right before i crossed it now just imagine that police stopped me at that point giving me a ticket that i ran on a red light so at this point it's my word against the cop word who do you think the judge is going to believe but thankfully my car was equipped with a dash cam and i could show the proof and most importantly i could show the date and time of when it happened which clearly indicates that there was a yellow light at the time when i left the intersection this is just one example maybe not the best one but just to show you the power of real-time video recording okay so let's close it and i want to give you another tip my computer runs on windows 11 it has a very powerful processor and video card if your computer is not as powerful or maybe a little older those video files may not play in that case i recommend getting a vlc player google it and go to this website videoland.org for people who don't know this vlc player can play pretty much every possible video file that exists on planet earth it's an open source free player that you can install on windows mac linux and even android operating system it should definitely play those video clips recorded by mercedes dashcam and now I'll show you about 30 seconds of the actual unedited raw footage recorded by that Mercedes dash cam. And then I'll give you my final word on what I think. In this video, I showed how to use the original Mercedes dash cam and as you can see it's a pretty good option and perhaps some of you should get it, but it has some serious downsides which I'm gonna talk about in my next video. By the way, you should subscribe to my channel. To get a little notification when I release my next video. And the question of today is, have you ever had a dash cam in your car? What kind and how much was it? Please let us know in the comment section below.